I ruined my dreadlocks. I ruined my dreadlocks a few days ago. A few days ago, I decided to remove the color of my dreadlocks because it has a green tint to my hair currently. One of the best suggestions was to get an oops color remover from a Walmart or Walgreens. So in research of that, I went to go look for it at a few different stores and was able to find it, but I didn't know what it would end up doing to my hair. See, I have a dreadlocks with a 4B hair type. So what effect that this has on a straighter hair or another type of hair was nothing close to my hair because I have, first of all, dreadlocks. Secondly, a different hair type than what I saw on the picture of this box. So when I went ahead and got it because I was ready to actually dye my hair a new color and I needed something to remove the color that I have right now. The color that I have right now looks like, you know, green and yellowish color, but before that it was actually super green and before the green it was actually bleached into a platinum blonde or a regular blonde. Once I got the color remover that I needed, I came home to test it out, to try it out, see if it works, and I went ahead and opened the bottle which had a pretty bad smell. I'm telling you, even with the smell, I will never do this again. I thought it was just something that's like a hair dye or a hair coloring smell has, which will go away once a wash happens, but literally I'm struggling to this day to get the smell out of my whole house. This is the worst mistake I've ever made on my dreadlocks ever. And I'm not saying that just because of the result, I'm saying that because of the smell, because of the effect that it had on me. Literally, we had to sleep with a mask on just to get away from the smell because my hair was soaked up with it, smelled like my hair was burning with orange citrusy, super citrusy zest. Like I don't, I can't even describe what the smell is like. It's just the worst thing I've ever put in my hair. I went ahead and used it on my hair twice to remove the color because it comes with a ability to give it protein to your hair but at the same time it's not the best result i would have rather used a bleach instead of this i didn't want to originally use a bleach because first of all a bleach is not really a color remover it just strips away whatever color is on on your hair which could be used as a color remover but at the same time i don't want to apply anything that had bleach because i've been bleaching my hair for a long time so that's why i got this box and it really is was the worst thing i've ever copped in my life i wouldn't recommend it unless you really just trying to get the color removed and want to deal with the smell. It did remove the color, but on the first round, when I had tried it, I had used the purple shampoo, which I thought it was going to be able to help it out, but I'm thinking these chemicals don't mix together pretty well. Once I put it in my hair to wash it as a shampoo, the Shimmer Light, which is a purple shampoo, it gave my hair another dye effect, which turned it to a dirty, bluish greenish color which looks like this and I was really annoyed by that I made a mistake you know like I was just trying to recorrect it so I redid my whole hair again with the same color remover which is the second big mistake I made and I should have never used it again and I'm telling you guys this because I want to put it out there on the mistakes that I make also. So in the second round, I did the same process again. Of course, this time I washed it with a regular shampoo and the final result came out to be like this and I really did not like this. I think the best way would have been to use a bleach or the original color remover that I used back in the days that worked pretty great when I did a color remover on my black dyed hair at that time because I had dyed it black for my wedding and I wanted to go to the blue and I had used that color remover and it worked out pretty well. But trust me guys, when I tell you this, don't ever get this oops corrector even from the smell. That's the worst god dang thing on earth. And I wanna even sue them, you know what I mean? I wanna be like, Man, why are y'all selling this? Because this is just terrible. I'm telling you, the smell still follows me to the day. It's been like almost a week. And uh, I was supposed to actually upload this video on 
last Saturday and I, I wasn't able to make it because of this ruinous that happened to my hair, ruinous that happened to my house and it's the worst thing. So this is an advice for you guys, always look at other people's recommendation and what they say, especially on a video because it matters what other people put out. Don't just listen to somebody's suggestion and trying to do it because you don't know what you're testing. Really, I didn't know. I was about to get two, uh, two bottles of those too, wasting my god dang money. So I'm really upset by this and uh, hopefully I'll bounce back because I'm going to still accomplish this. You know, I'm not going to let the setback hold me down from accomplishing what I want, which is a new hair color and it's going to have different effects to my hair. But at the same time, this probably would be my last dye of my hair and uh, last bleach, of course. From the effect that I've been, you know, experiencing, I think with this corrector, it had more damage to my hair than what it should have benefited me because it really dried my hair out. I had to put oil, conditioner, different things to help out my hair maintain its strength because my hair was literally coming apart and I really didn't like this. I really don't recommend this guys almost ruined my hair I think I did ruin it I just gotta recover from it see if I bounce back but if I don't bounce back you guys will know but I don't give up you know I don't give up till my hair really burns off my head um, of what I'm trying to accomplish and so I'm sorry guys I wasn't able to deliver on this and please wait on it for next upload to see if I can accomplish this so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to this channel what we do here is very educational inspirational and you know building a community that have you know dreadlocks hair growth uh, journey you know people that love God uh, positive mindset you know response in the comments and different things and so that's all about this channel and whenever I put out something like this I usually don't like it because my channel is always you know happy and you know jumping and hype and banger and uh, when I put this out it means that I really was not happy about the situation and so uh, forgive me for that for putting this out I hope you guys understand and get warned because a lot of times you watch a lot of happy stuff but you don't watch the bad stuff so you end up doing the bad stuff because you're not you didn't learn it from somewhere to avoid it especially on your hair because that's that's like a one-time thing and so I'm glad I mean my hair is still there I'm glad you know my hair didn't fall off or anything like that um, that would have been the worst case worse so that didn't happen so thank God for that but at the same time the result that I'm experiencing I really didn't like and enjoy so this is a warning to you guys. Thank you for watching this video till next time Keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse. Love y'all